Now, for the first time, Hong Kong will not host an official memorial for the victims of China's Tiananmen crackdown in 1989. Every year, for more than three decades, people in Hong Kong would descend on Victoria Park for a candlelight ceremony with songs and speeches to commemorate the victims of the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre. But this year, the situation is very different ahead of the 33rd anniversary of the crackdown. Hong Kong police have warned residents to not organize or attend events in Victoria Park, further asserting on how even sharing social media posts could be labeled as grounds for incitement. A law enforcement official has further urged public to not gather in groups with a common purpose. I would stress that if you are staying together with a group of people uh, at the same place at the same time and with a, with a common purpose to express uh, certain views, it is already uh, meeting the definition of a uh, topic of a meeting. And depending on the number of persons uh, at the scene, that may contravene offenses including an authorized assembly or, or due to the act they even contribute other more serious offenses. However, the warnings are no surprise to Hong Kongers whose lives have been turned upside down over the past two years due to the national security legislation which has brought an end to public demonstrations and silenced many civil society groups and cultural institutions. Hong Kongers are meanwhile expressing concern over how their citywide tradition of hosting the June 4th vigil is now a thing of past and is being erased from their social history, further asserting how they no longer enjoy freedom of assembly or freedom of expression. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.